we are ready for our next talk. And for the next four talks, we're going to actually be doing something different, which is uh, we're going to be highlighting four of our Spotlight projects. ETH Global Spotlight is an initiative we started a few months ago where we get to give more visibility and more access to the rest of the ecosystem for projects that come out of the hackathon. And we have four projects here today. They also have boots outside. You can talk to them, and you'll also learn here over the next 10 minutes what each of them are doing. And they're going to share how they started, what they're doing, and how they're thinking about making an impact in this space. And the first project I want to bring on is MCP. And Luis is going to tell you all about making MCPs and AIs and payments merge all together. Please give him a round of applause. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Micro, uh, co-founder of MCP. And yeah, I'm really excited to tell you all about it, um, why we started it, and how we believe it will be able to unlock payments for the next stage of the internet. What we believe is the agent economy, and I think I talked to some of you today, we're all on the same page. Um, but yeah, so we've been using software like this. It's still 2025, and we have to go through a lot of these things. APIs power a lot of our internet world but they all come with the same old friction. So if you've ever integrated an API or any, you know, if you've used any software, generally it goes like you sign up, you add your credit card, you manage keys if you're using an API, and then you need to track quotas, maybe add spending limits. And that's mostly fine for us humans, but think about an AI agent. It doesn't have a credit card, it doesn't log into dashboards, and the current way doesn't really scale. Less than a year ago, MCP, or Model Context Protocol, was announced, and it rapidly took the AI space by storm. I'm, I'm pretty sure many of you have, have used at least once. It, it simply creates this universal way for agents to plug into tools. Most, most of the times, you paste a URL, and you're in. But there's a catch. MCPs make it very easy to connect, but they don't solve auth, or payments very gracefully. So developers end up rebuilding the same old authentication, subscriptions, API keys, and we think there's, there's, there, there needs to be a better way for this. And that's why we built MCPay. Uh, with MCPay, any MCP server can charge per tool call. Payments flow in stable coins, and other tokens are getting added. It uses X402, a new protocol, um, that was initiated by, by Coinbase, but many others are adopting it too. It follows the H, it, it kind of like support, it adds support around the HTTP 402 status code. And with this, we kind of don't, you know, we don't necessarily need subscriptions or API keys. So for the developer side, it is quite simple. And for the agents, it feels native. We started this in ETH Global Prague where we got finalists. And yeah, very exciting to be here and, and new today talking about it. So what exactly have we shipped so far? Uh, monetization, we offer two ways. Uh, there's an SDK that, by the way, this is outdated as of yesterday. We've supported, uh, we've added a bunch of nicer stuff to, to build your server, but check the website. And the UI. Um, ideally, you know, if you're a developer, uh, you can go through the SDK route. You can plug in um, our SDK directly into a server. And that means you have programmatic control, advanced customization, and the ability to integrate payments right into you know, the existing workflow. So it's, it's perfect if you want to you know, have fine-grained hooks or you're, you're already comfortable coding, these sort of things. The second route, and I know it's a little weird that I'm, you know, most developers are using MCPs these days, but um, there's some nicer things to it too. Like if you go to Smithery, for example, which is an M MCP registry, you can launch your own server and add your keys. And for, the mo and for most use cases, you could also like monetize it and, and you know, get payments yourself with your own um, sort of keys. So in the MCP dashboard, you can configure pricing. There's a whole like UI for it. And think of it like flipping a switch. You decide how to rate, what to rate per call, you publish, publish it, it's live, and then when you want to turn it down, you can just like remove that. And your server's still running, and this sort of proxy uh, gets removed. On top of that, we added analytics. So once your server is live, you just set pricing and forget it. Um, on MCPay, we, gi we give you full visibility into your tools. You can inspect which ones are monetized, how often they're being used, how much you're earning. So with analytics, 
on the top uh, right, you see the wallet. We've integrated with Coinbase Server Wallets too, so users that are you know, integrating um, your server can create a wallet, fund it uh, with, with Coinbase on-ramp, and immediately start using your server without you know, a lot of friction. And yeah, you can control spending. There's, there's a lot of things. Um, like one click install for cursor, we're adding more um, very, very soon. So you can just click and you create a link specifically with spending limit, custom policies around um, the, 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 wallet, the wallet connection. As a way for, to test like monetization, since, since this is such a new thing, uh, we decided to build what we called MCPay Build which is an MCP server that creates MCP servers, uh, and it's instructed on how to build monetized MCP servers. It ships uh, with sandboxes to, for you to safely experiment and, and, and launch um, an MCP server and, and test it right away. And then when you're, when you're happy with your Vibe coding, you can just hit deploy, it will auto-deploy on right now Vercel, uh, and, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, it's one, of the, one of the coolest things we have there. But, some of you might be asking, what exactly is you know, MCP using under the hood for powering payments? So essentially X402, as I mentioned, and it's quite simple. Clients can make requests and servers will respond, all right, before I can do that, you'll need to sign this message, right? And essentially that message gives the ability for the server to settle your payment. This works with tokens like USDC that uh, follow the uh, can remember now authorization. Well, it's EIP 3009. Go check it out. Uh, but I, hopefully, in the future, more tokens will get supported. And um, that's it. So, client makes the, the request. There's a server that will intercept that request and say, No, before I can do that, you need to sign this message. The user signs the message, retries the, the request, and the server unlocks and makes the, the payment. But, you know, Talking a little bit out about like what this means for the future, we think that this will un you know let us break software into nano services. So like with micropayments, I, we believe that software will get unbundled, and the tool isn't a subscription anymore. It becomes a very tiny service. So you can pay a cent for a tool to translate, a fraction of a cent to summarize, ten cents to generate a video, and each piece is priced, addressable, and usable by any agent. Every time an agent pays, there's a signal. You go from intent to tool to payment, and that signal tells us exactly what matters, what people value or agents value enough to pay for. And over time, it becomes a high signal market of real demand, and in that market, the best tools will rise. Right now, most usage of these tools is locked away inside platforms. Some registries do show us what are the top performers or the, the top MCP performers, but in, in this micropayment world, usage proofs will surface. We, we believe that most of this data will, will, will need to be discoverable, will need to be seen, and that's how agents will find what matters and that's how developers will get discovered. So why now? Um, well, the tech is there. We have cheap stablecoin rails, we have open protocols like X402 and others like AP2. We're seeing MCP adoption for tools growing very, very fast and we've been in the space for a bit and we're very excited to try this out. So for the next steps, uh, right now we have paper call payments, fixed pricing, we're gonna add ZK receipts with VLayer, dynamic pricing with the uh, upcoming up to scheme on X402, and later on we hope that we can kind of participate as a agent commerce hub in the agent economy. So the web took, us, took off because of HTTP. It gave us a universal way to exchange information, and we believe that, again, the agent com economy will take off when there is a universal way to exchange value. And we hope to, to build it with all of you. Thank you.